What's up, everybody? You didn't have to watch, but you did, and I greatly appreciate that. Now, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I identify as a multi-millionaire. To support this channel and for exclusive WAC 100 novelty merch, please click the items directly below the video and it'll take you right to the Ruminati shop. Thanks in advance. We back with, yep, some more WAC 100 content. What's going on, y'all? The WAC was live in Dangerous Minds. Make sure you follow all the rooms on the Hunter side because the content over there 24-7. The WAC was talking about that boy Haitian Jack and Jimmy Snitch, uh, Jimmy Hinchman. Now, the Hunter side was going over some secret phone calls, some secret audio from Jimmy Hinchman and Haitian Jack trying to iron out their differences and it might not have necessarily went that way, but then WAC reveals that that secret phone call ain't so secret to him because it may have happened on his line. Like my bro said, I reserve the right to be wrong. And like I say, I identify as a multi-millionaire. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Go ahead and get active down in the comments. You can hit if you want. It's all love, yo. Man, we... <laughs> we chilling just listening to this content, man. I guess they leaked some audio of uh, Jimmy uh, Henchman and Muff, uh, Haitian Jack. And it was like they had a full-blown conversation. I don't know if you even heard. I sent the, I sent you the link earlier. The audio is kind of what they, like they what, had it out. What? They had a conversation on my phone before too. It wasn't oh. too good. Oh, a lot of that happened on my phone. The same phone number right here. Oh, uh, Suge, Jimmy, Jimmy, Haitian, Jack. What conversation was this? This was this the one with? Where, uh, we can put the play play a little bit of the beginning. They get right to it. Jimmy right told. Oh, Jimmy, see, with Jimmy. Wait, no, Jack. I mean, which one said it? Jimmy. No, Jack said it. He said, yo, why tell him I'm gonna I'm look out for him and um I'm gonna make sure he can go uh talk to his father. <clears throat> you know, he real did with his father, they ain't been able to talk. So I didn't know what it was, so what I told the nigga, the nigga went crazy. Come to find out the nigga daddy dead, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so you know, uh, but the Suge Knight, Jimmy, I, I didn't know Reggie told that story. He, Jimmy told that nigga. Suge chased the nigga down at the Century City Mall. Yo, Haitian Jack was one of them real ones though, too, huh? Haitian Jack. Oh uh, no, Jack with that boy. That's Jack with the whack. He with the he kind of pre like low key henchman. Jimmy kind of copped a little plea right there in the audio we heard. That's why I put cop to plea. Haitian Jack was kind of letting him know low, like, you know what it is. This is this. Man, you 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 was listening to Fools. You was the only smart one. You listened to Fools. He was telling them. He was letting them know. Y'all, oh, that's some dude. That's all yeah, they look good for. Yeah, ain't nobody, bro, bro, his been snitched, bro. So I don't... Wait, first of all, bro, nigga, I'm the only one that's saying The rest of you niggas scared to say it. That's a fact. Nigga, I'm just telling you why the fuck they got into it. Nigga, I, you probably don't even know what the fuck is going on. How old are you? Hey, you know who I am, bro. Oh, that's 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 Naughty's boyfriend again. He keeps coming bro. up on here tripping. That nigga's a kid. Bro, you know, bro, you know, bro stop, stop, stop playing, bro. Lucy, watch this. This nigga wasn't even around, nigga, when she was going on. This nigga's a kid. What is he talking about? This nigga's a real kid. He don't need, this nigga's be YouTube niggas. Don't need knowing what the fuck going on. But, um, I believe, um, Jimmy tried to get at Jack girl, and she told him. Oh, when she flew out type of thing, huh? She told him, and, um, and then, um, Jack, Jack had somebody hit Jimmy, gave him a buck 50 across his face, cut him. And then at that time, Jack come to, I don't even like telling these stories, because this nigga right here, Next week, then he'll go talk like he's been around. He just love this nigga right here. Uh, Jack had come to Cali and shit. He was probably out of like the restaurants and shit, like uh, crustaceans and shit. He was controlling the restaurants. And, you know, he charged niggas $100 to get in the dough. That time, he got the restaurant owner stuck up. But uh, everybody knew that Jack was a hothead, so Jimmy had a nigga tell Jack, or tell him I'm at Encore Studio slipping. He know when he told Jack that what Jack was going to do. You know, he grabbed his pistol, jumped in the car on the way over there, and, you know, he had the police waiting on him. Haitian Jack catch the gun case, go to L.A. County, do his time, they deport him. Back to Hades. 
Yeah, that's how that went. His time's almost up, though. He coming back soon, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think he better come back this December. But he right there in the DR. Every time I go over there. I got a bunch of photos. Last time I was over there for my birthday, he hung out with me all week. No, that's G what Wayne was G Wayne was with us. I heard G Wayne tell that story a few times, man. That's why I be knowing that that's your man's that that that. Nah, he was with us. That nigga had the 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 minister of defense with him. Oh, <laughs> that's power right there. The minister of defense. That's power right there. Yo, I hear where where Pharaoh at? I hear Pharaoh had a lot to say about King Yellow. With that. Which Pharaoh? Mm -hmm. Pharaoh Lee or Pharaoh Bands? Feral bands. Who was that nigga? I just invited him um, up. I think he's here. Well, he got a lot to say. He said somebody didn't have the right same energy or something. Dave. Bring him up. He put a hat to convo with the same energy. I respected it. Weird or not, I respected it. That he ain't stand on it. We too sorry to let that nigga go off like that because he said that in his paperwork behind it dropped. Well, he got some paperwork we ain't got? I don't know, but we could bring him up. I don't know. Feral, yeah. Feral Bands. Y'all niggas, please. Feral Bands was good. Well, we got He's some paperwork. Page. You know about some paperwork we don't know about? Hey, now you can hear me. No, nah, I was saying it's drop. I was saying dropped or not. But now nah, what I was saying, Wack was like, ain't no, ain't no drop or not, bro. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a ex con, bro. If this drop, this drop, this drop, nigga. Well, yeah, nah, not drop, the not. NBA. Nah, I'm yeah. saying what I'm saying is, okay, the nigga said like in the in the, on the live or whatever where he said he was telling him, he was saying shit like I could bring the song here right now and shit like that. So I'm like, you, you definitely did that, right? So. It, it was one thing I'm saying. It's one thing. If the well, nigga how you know? How up. you know he? How you know he did it? He did, right. I can't. I can't put that on the nigga. Right. But my thing is, the way it looked, nigga, is like you did that. Then you went on this whole rant. Like, okay, regardless of how niggas feel, you know that's what's going on. I'm saying I would have respected it if he would have came up and been like, yeah, okay, this is the way I look at it, right? And then everybody could have had their opinion on it. Then you stood on your. But for you to come on here and say, nah, I was trolling, like, bro, I don't know. That just don't sound right to me, boy. Hey, how old are you? Hey, how old are you, bro? I'm, I'm 24. Yeah, it's not about right. One day you'll realize and you remember this day. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Especially when you got a great teacher trying to teach you something. You niggas is too literal. And that's why you niggas is dying at 25. Literally. You want a motherfucker to do what you want him to do. Instead of a motherfucker doing what he know he got to do. You don't know what's the difference. Now, I respect what you're saying. Because now I see what you're saying with the bigger pictures like that. He had to. So if he got a motherfucker in his ear. Guiding him. Hey, look, man. You don't do it like this. This going to happen from this. What you need to do is do it like this and offset it with that. You saying that nigga stand on it and die. I'm saying, hey, man, give reason to see it another way and live. Which one you want, homie? Now, nah, that's real. Now, nah, I respect that. You right. <laughs> Y'all niggas is crazy as a mother. You didn't switch your wife up. She talking about... I'm going to leave because I feel you're going to do it again. Yeah, watch this. You're going to scrub again? Nah, you gonna tell but her? I'm not going to tell her? Are you going to tell her, you know what, baby, that ain't going to happen again. I flipped out my bat. Ain't no excuse. Which you whooping ain't going to happen again. You're going to be like, what? And just going to scrub again. Which one you going to do? Nah, facts. I'm for sure so I'm going to apologize and make that right. Uh, I just, I'm not going to lie to her and be like, nah, I ain't really do that. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, I feel sorry for y'all. Survival of the fittest. Let me explain something to you. This floor knows me well. Everybody else knew what was going on. Nah, for sure. I knew what was going on. I respect it. That's what I'm saying. I see what you're saying, though. You know what I mean? I ain't finna make it into something that's not type shit. But yeah, nah. I see Either you can help a motherfucker destroy themselves, or you can help a motherfucker say themselves. 
the show is not always about the negative right because guess what a lot of us had it had that mentality you got and that can only get us so far some of us then crossed over we know what's on the other side we know what it takes to get there we know you can kill yourself off so if a mother don't give them off guidance and leadership right how the fuck are people gonna progress hey that's one that wasn't the way to go Thanks. Thanks. you know dude is attempting to become a personality you know what i'm saying and talking that kind of shit. that ain't gonna act that ain't gonna yeah. Yeah, gonna the show. yeah you know what i'm saying i just you know what i mean just real shit. nigga we going in there we got a case i'm like look nigga pharaoh listen man you're gonna go in here they're gonna ask you about it you're gonna tell the victim you know what i'm saying that you was intoxicated that you wasn't yourself right you're gonna let them know you're gonna replace all their property you know what i'm saying and this one this one's the DA, he gonna tell you to take some anger management classes. He gonna give your ass ten days time served and three years summary probation. Or you can go in here and say, I don't give a f I did it once and I'll do it again and get that nickel. which which, which advice you want me to give you? Now we look up and he do it again, that's on him. So hopefully we gave him some game, helped him, you know, through his bullshit. And guess what else we just gained on the hunter side? A new, a new, a new personality, man. Uh oh, nigga, he just woke <laughs> up. The play is the play. Boy, they play dirty, don't it? You gonna send me with a coded message to tell somebody that you trying to get rid of them, but I don't know what's going on. You just throw me in the middle of, come on, man. And you never mind. And you know what? I can't say. I guess they played it different back then, cause. People cutthroat now. That's why you got to really know who you're dealing with because your so-called homeboy might ask you to do him a favor real quick, but really, he might be sending you off. And it ain't about if I can handle the issues or not. It's about you forging my signature on a contract that I ain't even read. I really appreciate the support I've been getting on this channel. We're going real fast. Every like, every comment, every subscriber. This is what I need you guys to do, though. Click any one of the items in the merch shelf directly below the video, and it's going to take you to the Ruminati YouTube store. There's something in there for every budget, from stickers to all-over print hoodies. And if you really rock with the different thumbnails you can find on this channel, then get to the Ruminati shop ASAP to get your WAC 100 approved Ruminati official WAC 100 novelty merch. But like my bro said, I reserve the right to be wrong. And like I say, I identify as a multimillionaire. Ruminati Network. Like, comment, subscribe.